Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. All right, all right. It's Wayne with HalfTheFlip.com. Here it is. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. Uh, we're just going to go right along with the theme for the whole rest of the week. It's been a weird day. So um, here it is. It's 11.15 and I'm just starting. So much for the schedule. <laughs> um, we had to get some things done today. So uh, we got up early. We knocked those out. We're already back. Um, I have uh, orders. I got I to gotta pull. I'm going to get these done first. Um, today was supposed to be uh, a sort day. Uh, I do not have anything for my wife yet again. Um, yesterday I knocked out a few of my um, hard goods to see actually how it was going to work. Um, I'm really happy with the way all the pictures turned out. Um, it is definitely a learning curve for both me and my wife uh, with this new stuff. So. As much as I can do, I do believe that I will sell similar because um, I definitely have noticed that a lot of the same items are out there or uh, have sold. Um, so it's very easy, easy to uh, sell similar. Not so easy, I have found with clothes. I don't like trying to find a specific thing because I don't look every one of them up. So every one of our clothes, we write our titles uh, all by hand. Um, it's uh, um, a set of the stuff that we circle and um, fill in so all it is is just putting those sets in order to create the title so um, this way um, it's those keywords are in the title uh, that same title gets copied and pasted into the um, subject and um, uh, the description and uh, that has two times and uh, two times the keywords and then uh, all the drop downs are filled in which uh, gives us um, three so um, that's how we do it now so this is totally different uh, I found two without a problem two I didn't find um, so we had to handwrite those uh, what I found is going to be the biggest uh, issue uh, between me and my wife doing it um, is uh, I solely do the research so uh, it's probably gonna have to change a little bit because I know exactly what I'm looking for um, so one of the titles out of the four I changed so uh, that isn't uh, an efficient way to do it so I can't I can't write it down have her write something and then I go back and change it so um, with the hard goods it might be a little different I might actually create the title for each one of the hard uh, hard goods and then she just fills out from that which should be f extremely easy because um, as soon as you start typing in stuff it uh, auto populates in your drop downs so um, well we did that yesterday uh, I released those out uh, I've already had some uh, views on them which is awesome um, some of those uh, I put out there for a good 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 chunk of change so um, I would love to see those um, go um, definitely would um, uh, help my case of wanting to go to some more hard goods so i um, super excited about that I mean I changed around some of my stuff yesterday and made sure my shelving was all aligned so that um, my first hard goods going out actually had um, the new uh, numeric locations uh, already on them um, they look really sharp um, I did a search for one of my items and I was uh, the top um, top one so I hit the keywords uh, I hit everything that I needed to do photos around key so i um, super happy about that I'm hoping that one will uh, sell within a couple weeks so um, there's that uh, today I'm gonna take these pictures real quick or I'm gonna pull orders real quick so that I can start taking pictures so that everything's set up when I come down here tomorrow because tomorrow I'm gonna pound it out I'm gonna try to get the rest of these tubs done and be done um, so it's gonna be a short day today uh, again I'm gonna start pounding everything I can in um, uh, system work at the end I worked my butt off yesterday and got a lot of my system stuff done 
Um, I moved every single one of the items that I wanted to move over to the uh, new store done. But I have about 300 items, 400 items right around there um, that still have the old pictures in it that I do not want. And I'm a little at a loss. Uh, I've ran them. This will be my third week on um, auction and I still have quite a bit of them left. So. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna move that whole group over. I'm not gonna reshoot pictures. It's been most of that stuff is well over a year old, uh, so I'll to take time out and um, re-photograph those. I don't think it's uh, uh, anyway the best idea. So uh, more than likely, after this set goes through, I'll end up going ahead and moving the rest of the junk uh, backs. The different color backs, the the flat lays, the the mannequins uh, over to um, store two, even though I don't want to, and uh, I'll move them off over there. Uh, I'd like to go to the bins this weekend. I think we might make a trip. Um, with the amount of of those old photos, though, I could easily fill up um, my store two. And then I'm stuck where I was before and I have two stores where I'm going to end up paying. Um, I did a lot of numbers yesterday. I filled up a freaking notebook full of projections and um, where my numbers need to be, um, what I have to do um, to get um, to where I need to be to get an anchor store, how much it's going to cost, um, how much I'm going to get in a return um, as of right now. and. Um, for me right now on my first store with the amount of lower end items that I have in there, it is not feasible for me right now to push it to an anchor store without losing money. That's that's pushing it. So to go buy uh, mass quantities of material and bring them in, process them, um, get them done and sold, I'm actually going to be in the hole. So uh, it might be a build up process. Um, it's still going to take, I think it was, I don't have the sheets in front of me, of course, but it was going to take about four and a half months, um, to get the amount of material in processed and get it out there to be able to physically start making, uh, the amount of money, um, that I am currently without seeing any kind of, um, decrease in my financial, uh, standings right now. Um, to start hitting that three hundred a uh, dollar a month fee on top of uh, my other store already, so the goal is definitely there. Uh, I know um, what uh, percentage of return I need back, and uh, I have to raise it so uh, out with uh, the junk uh, and with the good stuff so um, I knew at a point it was going to have to come down to it. Uh, I don't know. I'm ready. So, um, I'm definitely going to have to go to more Goodwills and um, start doing more of the research part of it rather than just grabbing everything. Um, I still feel that I can get enough good stuff at Goodwill to go ahead and go. Um, the amount might be totally different. Uh, I might not be going there and getting hundreds of pounds. Uh, last few times it's been almost two to three hundred pounds so um, if I go and I get a hundred pounds of all good items uh, I probably have to stay there longer but um, for that store it's what I need and with the introduction of new um, hard goods uh, I definitely am gonna bring that um, percentage up and get it to about where I need it to be um, to start making uh, more money on the push to get that to an anchor store. So, uh, super excited. I'm ready. I'm glad to see some numbers down on some paper. Um, I definitely um, can easily um, see exactly where the business can go um, with, I don't want to say a little to minimal work, but to actually know what work um, is, it's actually going to take to get there. Like everything, takes time even even what I've seen it's gonna take four and a half to five months to be able to get to where I want to be 
um, on that with the right amount of uh, material um, and good material. So you got to be able to find it, which I don't think I'll have a problem. Um, I'm, it'll, it's part of my whole schedule. Uh, it'll definitely be shifting. That's that's the beauty of it. I'm gonna um, adapt and learn. Um, this is gonna have to be different. Uh, one thing I have definitely thought about big time is that it is summer. So uh, my responsibility of getting my kids up and ready to go to school is gone. So instead of thinking, ah, it's summer, um, it's time to bunker down. It's I need to get up, I need to come down here, and I need to work for three or four hours before everybody even thinks about getting up. So um, that's gonna be something different. I definitely was gonna do that today and didn't get up until uh, seven to start working. So, and then we left at nine, go figure. So uh, definitely good things come in. I'm super pumped. I hope everything's going good for everybody else. Um, my numbers have leveled out quite quite well now that I've uh, working constantly in every item um, I'm still uh, almost 80% higher than I was the year before uh, my second store I'm up about 70 to 80% from where I was last month um, and that is just solely work and pounding um, that was uh, moving all those items over to uh, the new store definitely helped um, adjusting the price to meet um, or just below of what the standard is um, for the material that I'm selling in that one. It definitely helped. Um, of course, by doing that, my percentage dropped, which uh, I knew. But again, I'm making more money, I'm selling more items, and um, I'm definitely getting more um, reviews back uh, daily where I wasn't before. So. Um, I don't know how these people get up to 10,000 freaking reviews on theirs. Man, I got one store just about ready to approach a thousand and I have another store. The new store it hasn't even hit a hundred yet. So um, half tempted to go out there and buy the one cent Chinese stuff just so I can get feedback. Um, not, not that it, I don't, I don't know if it does anything. It, it just, uh, that hundred, that hundred mark is definitely uh, um, something. I think um, because when I shop, I definitely look if somebody's got, you know, 20,000, you know, reviews on there and they're still at, you know, 99.8. I, I have no problem and no um, hesitation to do business with them. So um, if I look at somebody and they have one star and I'm buying an item, and I, I understand. So I definitely want to get those numbers up. Um, I have switched over from giving feedback when I received good feedback to immediate. I've never done it before. Uh, I did it with my second store, um, different from my first store, and uh, the amount of reviews that I'm getting from my second store uh, quicker um, is a considerable amount more than my first store. Um, it seems like it's almost when eBay sends out the reminder for uh, product, or not product reviews, but for um, for the review, uh, they're on that 30-day mark or whenever they do it, is when I get them. So um, uh, I, yesterday I switched everything over. I selected everybody that I didn't have feedback and gave, I think it was 1,200 people positive feedback yesterday. And then... Um, I turned it on to automatically do positive feedback as soon as a uh, payment is received. So um, that's another step, another another tier uh, going forward. So I'm super happy. I hope everybody's having a great day. And uh, I'll talk to you for another 15 minutes tomorrow. <laughs> Later. Unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. And here we are. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to continue to follow my journey, make sure you subscribe. So until then, I'll catch you on the flip side. Good night. Goodbye. See you later. Toodaloo.